Bible sayings about faith, faith, Bible verses, PDF, quiz, unique facts, classes. Bible sayings about faith. The Bible offers many sayings about faith, providing readers with guidance, comfort, and direction. Faith is an important part of Christianity, and the Bible provides believers with advice, support, and guidance on how to live their lives according to God's will. These Bible sayings about faith can help readers to better understand the power of faith, its importance in everyday life, and how to live a life of faith. From Jesus' words to the apostles to the teachings of Paul, these sayings provide a comprehensive look at how to live a life of faith. Bible sayings about faith The Bible is full of inspiring and encouraging sayings about faith. It's a book that speaks to our souls, comforts us in times of hardship, and encourages us to keep our faith and trust in God, no matter what. In this blog post, we'll explore some of the most inspiring Bible verses about faith and the power of God. We'll look at Proverbs on faith, KJV, ISV, NIV and ESV Bible verses about faith and hope, Bible quotes about building faith in difficult times, Bible verses about faith in the church, and Proverbs on faith and perseverance. We'll also explore Bible verses about faith and love, God's word on faith and forgiveness, Bible sayings about faith and courage, and understanding Bible verses on faith and joy. Finally, we'll look at Bible passages on faith and obedience, Bible sayings about faith and gratitude, and exploring the Bible on faith and compassion. Bible steps God teaches us to strengthen our faith pray for faith, and without faith it is impossible to please Him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who seek Him. Hebrews 11:6. Read the Word of God, so faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the Word of Christ, Romans 10:17. Meditate on the Word of God, let the Word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, with thankfulness in your hearts to God, Colossians 3:16. Speak the word of God, for faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, Romans 10 17. Practice what you learn, but be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves, James 1 22. Have faith in God, and Jesus answered them. Have faith in God, Mark 11 22. Have faith in yourself, so faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ, Romans 10 17. Put your faith in action. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. James 2:26. Persevere in faith. Let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap, if we do not give up. Galatians 6 9. Worship God. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. Psalm 95 6. Etymology of the biblical word faith. The etymology of the biblical word faith is a source of much debate among theologians and scholars of religion. The origin of the word can be traced back to the Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic languages, with each providing its own unique take on the concept. In this blog, we'll explore the origin and meaning of the word faith in each of these languages, as well as examine how different interpretations of the word have caused sources of conflict within religious circles. Origin The origin of the word faith can be traced back to the Hebrew word emunah, which is used to describe steadfastness, loyalty, and faithfulness. This word is often used to describe the biblical concept of faith, as well as God's faithfulness towards us. The Hebrew word emunah is derived from the root amen, which means to be true or reliable. This is the origin of the English word amen, which is used to signify agreement or acceptance of a statement. Hebrew In the Hebrew language, the word faith is often used to describe the belief in God and His promises. The Hebrew word emunah is often used to describe faith and loyalty to God, as well as the belief in His word. This concept is further strengthened by the Hebrew word emunah, which means trust or confidence. Greek The Greek language also has its own take on the concept of faith. The Greek word pistis is used to describe faith, but it also contains a deeper meaning of commitment, trust, and assurance. In the New Testament, the Greek word pistis is used to describe the faith that is necessary for a person to be saved. Aramaic The Aramaic language also has its own unique take on the concept of faith. The Aramaic word amana is used to describe faith, but it also contains a deeper meaning of trust and assurance. In the New Testament, the Aramaic word amana is used to describe the faith that is necessary for a person to be saved. Sources of conflict Different interpretations of the biblical word faith have caused sources of conflict within religious circles. For example, some theologians and scholars believe that faith is an active decision to believe in God and His promises, while others believe that faith is a passive acceptance of the truth. This debate has led to much disagreement and debate over the definition of faith, and the different interpretations of the word have caused sources of conflict within religious circles. In conclusion, the etymology of the biblical word faith has its roots in the Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic languages. Each has its own unique take on the concept of faith, and these different interpretations have caused sources of conflict within religious circles. Ultimately, faith is an important part of Christianity and other religions, and it is up to each individual to decide how they will define and practice their faith. 
What the Bible says about God's compassion and faith The Bible is filled with inspiring stories of faith. One of the most inspiring stories of faith is found in the book of Daniel. In this story, Daniel's faith in God is so strong that he is willing to risk his life in the face of danger. Daniel's faith is rewarded when God sends an angel to save him from the lion's den. This story teaches us that with God, all things are possible. Father, Grandfather, Minister, Missionary, Deacon, Elder, Author, Welcome to our family. View all posts.